Alrighty, okay, I think I got this. I got this, it's fine, we're on to day eight. It's fine, I'm all over it. Hi, welcome, I'm a little bit late today. I'm Simone, this is me documenting my Me Made May where I try to wear Me Made outfits every single day. Um, I said yesterday that I was gonna be wearing the red pants that I was working on because I didn't have any more bottoms left, but then I realized, one, I haven't finished the red pants. Two, I had this skirt, this is separate, um, hidden in my, my winter goodies, so I could wear this. So I've been saved for one day. I might get those red pants finished, or I might just recycle, start recycling bottoms. Um, you know, you can do that in a wardrobe. You can wear the same thing more than once. It's, it's just outrageous. So much for being fashion forward. So much for being on social media, wearing things more than once. I'm um, sorry, blathering. I've been with my family all morning, so we did um, groceries, so with my mum, and then we went to visit my grandmother, um, who's 92, I think. It's the first time I've been able to see her in a while, so that was really good, and it's Mother's Day tomorrow, so um, doing all that stuff. She wanted to go to Spotlight to get some buttons for a cardigan she knitted, so we are three generations of crafters. She's a knitter, my mum's a crocheter, and obviously I sew, and I can't do either of the other two things at all. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, she wanted buttons for a cardigan. I swear she can knit a cardigan faster than I can sew it. It's insane. Um, and I had to get some velvet, because the bodysuit that's been ordered, I needed the velvet for. It's just plain black, and I'd run out, so yay. Um, so... If you don't know, folks, because I didn't know, and I'm on their member club and um, all the rest of it, Spotlight has got 40% off fabrics this weekend, just for this weekend. And I don't know about you, but their fabrics seem to be getting more and more expensive. So 40% off is great. And so I, I bought two other fabrics. And I bought two baskets. Do you like my sexy new basket? Um, okay, the basket isn't for the fabric. I bought two of them. One of them's, one of them's for my scraps. It's already got scraps. I'm saving up scraps to um, feel like a poof or a tatami mat, one of those little Japanese style flat ones. Um, and by the looks of putting it all in here, I'm not, I'm not far. It's not far from that. I did very recently make, um, what do you do with ironing? A tailor's ham and an arm roll um, stuffed with scraps. I can, I can talk more about that another day. I'll tell you how I did it another day. Let's do a spotlight haul today, because that's way more fun. Ah, oh, outfit. Don't let me forget to tell you about the outfit when I'm too excited about fabrics. I only bought three fabrics. And one of them is the velvet. So, do, do, do. One, two, three. Um, so, yeah, this is the black velvet that the, it's not the Lucerne, the Eva bodysuit is made of. And, I mean, Spotlight do do some really nice quality velvets. So you got to be careful because some of them aren't great. But this one is just plain matte black, really stretchy. It's really cheap. I think it's like, I don't know, should I be going on telling about how cheap the fabrics are that I make things out? <laughs> I'm a professional, people. Totally professional. You're safe with me. <laughs> it's like $15 a metre. And then at 40% off, it's nothing. It's the work that goes into it, not the cost of the fabric, or the fact that I was able to score something really cheap that is actually decent quality. Come on, look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, all right, that one aside. Then I got this look, you know. Stretch fabrics all have names now. I don't know what they are. Um, and considering, you know, I order wholesale on the internet, I should probably start knowing what things are, but I just tend to go by weight and stretch and those sorts of things rather than what they've decided to call their knit today because I swear they change names. Um, yay, stretchy, check, lime green and... Can we see? Can we see? I'm sorry, I've just had a coffee. I might be talking really quickly. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, lime green check, really stretchy. I was thinking I might make some more of the Jane pants, so from Gertie's Charmed Patterns, um, she has the Jane jumpsuit, and I have worn these before, I think I wore these right at the beginning, um, my Jane pants, 
Uh, I made them out of this fabric, which I've, I've worn both these pants and the skirt, made this out of the same fabric, and I know I haven't mentioned what fabric it is in either video. Mostly because I don't know. It's vague crepe stretch fabric. I got it as a remnant from pit trading. Um, and I've made these pants and a skirt. Um, and yes, yeah, so I used the pants pattern from the Jane set, which I'm really wishing I'd kept my traced pattern pieces, but I haven't. I know I did have to make a lot of mods though, so I'll have to do that again as well. But I wear these all the time, so. And this is like nice and thick and wintry. I think it would make great little checked pants. And this one is very similar, but it's like a suede effect. So it's really soft. Um, really got the weight of like almost like an upholstery curtain fabric, you know, like a sun blocking curtain fabric. Um, and it is, uh, maybe it's like scuba feeling. I was gonna say it feels very synthetic on the inside and then this soft and suede on the outside and stretchy. But they had this in pink and in gray. I mean, the spotlight in Inaloo, which is where we ended up going because my nan lives out in Inaloo, um, is, they don't have a lot of fabric there. The people who work there are just gorgeous and they're completely overworked. Um, and the place is always, I mean, it was actually in pretty good condition today considering it was a Saturday and there was a queue to get in. It was intense. Um, but yeah, quite often the general public trashes that store. And they don't have a huge amount of fabric stock in there. It's like a lot of homewares. Um, I actually really prefer the Midland Spotlight. Um, if you ever go out to Midland, they have heaps of fabric. And it's always really beautiful and tidy and organised. And there's never queues. I mean, I haven't been for a while. There might be queues now. But anyway, so that's it. That's my Spotlight haul. Um, my outfit is um, one that I made, I think I made this two winters ago, and I've since taken in the skirt last winter because it had become too big, and I just took, I think it had stretched out more than I'd lost weight, but we can all have fantasies. Um, I took the band in and the darts in, but didn't change the shape down the sides. Um, I have, you know, I, sorry, I started to put the weight back on again. Alright, just a secret, don't tell my mum. Or, or anybody for that matter because normally I'm pretty good with my diet. I lived on pizza for two days straight this week. Domino's pizza. I was doing other stuff. I was busy. But I'd really like to have a poop now. Sorry. I've also been listening to um, Reuben Kay, if you know the comedian, drag queen, actress. Um, Reuben Kay is doing these um, comedy things on Instagram. Hilarious. If you're into drag comedy, hilarious. But yeah, I might have descended slightly into potty mouth. Um, <laughs> which is not unusual for me, but so far I've kept it together for these videos. I've kept it above board-ish. But yes, I think I can probably, I could probably take heaps out of this skirt. I, yeah, if I made it again, I'd have to go, probably go down a size. But I do like the fact that it gives me like fake hips. Because the pockets sort of stick out. Yeah, and then it comes in on the waist. Um, but yes, it probably is this more distorted shape now because I've taken it in, in the darts and the waistband, but not the side seams. Right, so the pattern is one of my favourites, and I mentioned it before. It's this 1980s knitwit um, pattern, um, the skirt. Obviously, the skirt I'm wearing looks nowhere near as pegged and narrow as this skirt, but you could take it in, I guess. It doesn't have a dart up the back, so don't get too extreme. Um, it's super easy because there's no zip. It's just the button. This was really a style in the 80s, and I'm not going to flash you anything. Um, the pocket opens up into like a hidden and opening so you can get it on and off. Um, but yeah, no zip. Yay! It does make those pockets flare a little bit more, and it does create this little... No, you can't see that. Um, you can see there's just like a little, I don't know what you call that, extra bit of fabric in there, which is because this pocket isn't being pulled up from the top to stay shut. And it's just opening up inside. But yeah, I don't mind that. 
fun. Alright, the top is from another 80s dress pattern. So it's just a grown on sleeve. So the front is all one piece, the back is all one piece. Um, seam down the top of the shoulder as well, so it's not all, all one piece. Um, cuffs. I put a band on the bottom as well, but it's actually a dress. Were the cuffs actually on the pattern? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, 3D. I am not 2D. <laughs> do, do, do. No, I put the cuffs on. The cuffs don't come on the pattern. All right, so this is 1980s Quick Sew Pattern 164. Um, yay. So it is. Uh, MCXXXV2987. Maybe. <laughs> if anybody knows their Roman numerals, I think that's 1987. Um, so, yeah, what I did, see line drawings there. There we go. I can't tell if you can see that. Anyway, it's just the top half, but the skirt is just a very flared, very full four panel, I reckon. Four panel half circle skirt. Yeah, that'd be my guess. Diamond sleeve dress has push up sleeves. Oh, push up sleeves. Um, flared skirt gathered with elastic at waist and shoulder pads. Did not put shoulder pads in. I mean, that is the beauty of getting these 80s ones with the dolman sleeves. Like without the set in sleeve, like a grown on sleeve, because you don't have to worry about the allowance that they put in for the shoulder pads generally. Um, view A has ribbing neckband, view B has cowl collar. I think I've actually accidentally made this cowl twice as big as it should be. Uh, I think I folded it on the fabric when I shouldn't have, but I really like it, so I don't care. Um, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be like that. Big cowl was big in the 80s. I've actually made lots of variations on this top. I mean, I have heaps of like winter clothes, just they're all tops and not bottoms. Including like bodysuits, velvet bodysuits from the product range that I could very easily wear. Um, but just not the bottoms to go with them. Yay! I think that's it. That's my outfit. That's my stuff that I bought. That's my Saturday. Um, I'll check in tomorrow, but if you don't see me tomorrow, Happy Mother's Day to anybody who does that. I have a fur baby. <laughs> yeah, catch up.